Hi guys, welcome to Sim Captain. It's Monday night, February 3rd, and it's packed the pattern. Uh, Boston, host, uh, Manchester is the featured airport. With my friend Adrian, he's going to first officer the flight with me, and we're going to go from Philadelphia up to Manchester. All right, we'll begin the checklist. All right, uh, pre start, Master on. Master is on. Get this thing. Yep, we're going to. Uh, alternator Master. Alternator Master's on. Nav lights are on. Nav lights are on. Boy, traffic American 551, 10 mile final, 27 left Philly. Panel lights. As required. APU is running. Running. Avionics Master. On. Uh, fuel quantity checked. We are at 3,700 pounds. Check breakers. Left, checked. Doors. Closed and locked. Lights out. And uh, the passenger briefing. Passenger briefing. Um, you know, if there's an emergency, get out of the airplane. Sure. All right, okay. complete. All right, checklist complete. Uh, engine start next. Engine start uh, when we're ready. We're ready. We are. Fortunately, okay. we don't have ATC here, so. Yeah, that's uh, that's a shame. Uh, parking brakes are set. Parking brakes are on. Rotate beacon on. Beacon's on. Fuel pumps. They're on. Throttles idle. Idle, and we're clear left and right. Lead air. Over to number two, and starter's engaged. Number two is turning, right here. Yep. N2's on the rise, ITT's on the rise. We'll open the fuel valve. Good ignition. Bleed air is back to normal. Starter switch is selected to ground. We'll repeat for number one. And we'll put the bleed air over to number one. Starter is engaged. Number one's turning. N2's on the rise. ITT's on the rise. We'll open the fuel valve. And we have good ignition. Number one. Number two stabilizing. Star switch is selected to the ground. Temps and pressures look good. Number one stabilizing. I'm going to kill the pump, because that's annoying. Both engines look good. All right, uh, oil temperatures are in the green. Oil pressure is in the green. Bleed airs are all normal. Starter switches are back to ground. Check. Uh, engine start checklist complete. Next is uh, before taxi. Unfortunately, we don't have ATC here this evening. Otherwise, I would uh, certainly help. Yeah. Alright, uh, eight is, uh, we got the current weather in Philadelphia. We do? Uh, the, uh, IFR clearance, there is no ATC, so that's not a factor. Clocks are set, 0047. Yeah, engines are running, so the clock is running. Okay. Transponder. It's clocking 2200, and um, Mo Charlie. Mo Charlie's on. Our autopilot is currently off. 5000 is our initial, 250 knots below 10. Flight directors on. on altitude local altimeter setting. Check. Landing gear selector down three green. Lights are tested. Good test. Good test. Uh, pedo heat on. The uh, ice on. Flaps ten set for takeoff. And they're coming down set for takeoff trim. Trim is set. You can shut that down too. That goes down, and then the switch to the left of it, on off. And then we'll show you here. It's coming down, master switch is off. Alright, APU is shut down and off. Cabin alerts. That's the first two over there. Uh, we don't need them, but it's up to you. Put the seatbelt sign on. We do have passengers. Alright. Alright, DSI, vertical speed indicator. Read zero. Zero. Yep. Zero. Airspeed indicator. Read zero. Zero. And uh, ground and taxi clearance. Uh, we are clear for taxi. Looks like we should be departing on maybe either one seven or three five. What do we got for wind in Philadelphia? Um, I think we could depart runway one seven. The wind is one nine three yeah. at five knots. Right. One seven will be convenient. Yes, it will. All right, uh, taxi lights. Taxi lights are on. Parking brake is released. Brakes. I'm going to test them. Here's the left brake, and there's the right brake. Brakes are tested. Uh, engine, engine instruments are looking 
looking A-OK. -okay. Everything's in the green. All right, heading to Cherry is turning. I'm showing uh, right now is one zero zero turning right. It turns properly on both sides. Bring the mic a little closer to your mouth. It's hard to hear you. I'm sorry. That's better. All right, spoilers. Spoilers will deploy. Full deployment light illuminates, will retract, light extinguishes, and they indicate down. All right, flight controls. Flight controls are free and correct. I'm fairly, or you have radios, I don't. Um, right, yeah. So call that we're taxiing runway 17. I fill out for traffic site. Correction, west wind 66 Lima X-ray, taxi runway 17 via Alpha and Delta. Fill it out for traffic. All right, uh, we got spoiler reversers. Reverser test, two are on lock, two in reverse, and two stowed. And uh, depart briefing. Departure briefing. We're going to be departing runway 17. We're doing the Philly 2 departure, radar vectors to ditch. We'll climb to 5,000, and uh, we'll expect a normal departure with standard callouts. Any failure before VR, we abort and stay here. Any failure after VR will go airborne, uh, with the exception of fire and loss of directional control. Uh, we will return here to Philadelphia, and uh, that really completes my briefing. Do you have anything? Uh, runway 17 is uh, runway heading. And uh, other than that, initial altitude is 5,000. We do have somebody who was landing, I believe. They were just calling out landing. Uh, 27 right or left. So uh, let's listen out for their call outs as well. All right. And, and once we get to JFK, we'll contact Boston. Yeah, that's fine. That's the uh, taxi checklist is complete. Next is before takeoff. Do you have Boston's frequency? 134.7, I believe it is. I want to double check that. All right. Pop over there real quick. Yeah, we could. Well, Cleveland could be online too, that's one three. Yeah, one three four point seven is Boston, one three four point nine is Cleveland. Uh, well, I gotta tell you, it makes it so much easier to fly and taxi when you're here. When it's single pilot, it's, it's actually a lot of workload. Yep. Even having you just read the checklist really <laughs> makes it so much easier. More enjoyable, more realistic. Hey, city brotherly love. Yep. So you'll captain the flight, uh, the return flight to, you know, from Manchester back to Philly. Sure. All right, we'll be ready to go uh, right, at the end here. Let's get the uh, before takeoff checklist out of the way. The altitude or altimeter? Altimeter, local setting, check. All right, nav radios are set. Yep. Com radios are set, 122.8. We don't have a departure frequency. Pedo heat is on, de-ice is on. Yaw damper? Off. Uh, starter switches, continuous? They're set to continuous. Flaps are VR set for takeoff, flaps 10. Yep. Trim is set for takeoff. Check. Time and fuel, current 0052 Zulu, and fuel on board is 3662 pounds. I concur. All right. You want to make a call? Yeah, give me a second. One sure, sure. Oh, pops through. Pulling off your traffic. Westwind 66 lead max, right? Taking runway 17 for lineup and wait. Fill it off your traffic. Make sure there's no other planes coming in. And, uh, you yeah, you can always just ask, say, you know, any traffic inbound. Yeah. All right, line up, tower clearance. We've got threshold, check the landing aircraft, which we did. Taxi lights off, landing lights on, and strobes on. Yep, lights and strobes are on. Thank you. All right, that's the line up checklist is complete. Pumps are on, yep. Philadelphia traffic, west wind 660, max ray departing runway 17, departure to uh, the southeast up to 5,000. Philadelphia traffic. All right, we're going to bring the engines up to 40%. We got a good spool up. Let's back up. Oh, that. Read that after All right. Yeah. Well, advance to take off power. We're off the brakes. Take off power set. Good to go. We're going to take a quick peek off to our uh, left. Yeah. Make sure there's no rush. Okay, we're good. Airspeed's alive. Both both sides. 60 knots, 80 knots, I'm sorry. 80 knots. We'll continue. V1. Rotate. V2. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear in transit.
gear up, lights are out. 400 above the ground, flaps up. Flaps in transit. And yaw dampener. Flaps are up. Yaw is on. damper is on. After takeoff checklist. In the climb, gear up, lights are out. Flaps are up, lights indicated. Yaw damper, on. Autopilot. Yep, we got a stable climb, you can engage the autopilot. Autopilot's engaged. It always pitches upward, man. That's a new new thing. Now it's okay. Right. Uh, current, out, current altimeter. Yep. Alright. Next is above 5,000. So we're going to uh, turn the fuel pumps off. So, uh, normally if we call departure, we go up to 12. Yeah. So, so we'll right. go up to 12. Actually, they should be 10, but 12 is fine. You want to do 10? Yeah, fine. They're going to keep trying to keep it climbing. That's the best thing they can do. Yep. And we'll go direct to ditch. Let's go direct ditch. Chile traffic, American 3, to the next taxi, to runway 17 via Juliet. Echo 5, Echo. Philly traffic. Philly traffic, western 660, next race, clear of all runways and climbing out to the south of the airport. Fill up the traffic. And we're above 5, I'll turn the pump off. And fuel pumps off. Starter switches, we can go to flight. And uh, above 10, we'll be landing lights off. And then uh, flight level 180 with the out standard altimeter. That's our after takeoff checklist complete. Um, I must add, we now have the active sky for uh, my sim here, which is going to be a huge improvement on weather. Yeah, traffic above us up here. Yeah, he's pretty far. Zip that out a little bit. Really, I should have, uh, should have activated it like this. Do that. Activate. I'm on heading home. Okay. Yeah, we're not. Jason, I, but uh, instead of we weren't really going direct, we were kind of joining the line. Yeah, line. I don't. I hate that it does that. But That's you know, the real world airplane does the same thing. Yes. So. Oh, I'm getting behind in the throttles. Alright, I'm going to bring it up to flight level 290, or 27? Uh, yeah, we were going at 27, correct. Okay. And we're above 10, landing lights are off. Landing lights off, and above uh, 18, 18, uh, 180. Yeah, yeah. yeah. altimeter is no good as standard. Oh, yeah, you're right behind on the speed there. Sorry. Yeah, it was all right. I was Good a, little, a little slow Whoops. on the throttles, but that's me. That's my fault. No, you're good. Yeah, we can kill the cabin alerts if you want. Those signs are off. Just as a quick briefing and the heads up, uh, looks like we might be in for runway 24 at Manchester. Winds are currently 2106. Good visibility. A little cold. That's pretty much the way it's going to be looking for the uh, rest of the evening there. Well, let's tune in. Oh, do you want to make a final call for Philly, or are we done? You want to just uh, say we're across the ditch, final call? Uh, we're done with Philly. We're done? Yeah. Right. What was that? Dude. Yeah, we should have disconnected from the voice network or something. Oh, really? Possibly. All right, I'm going to have to exit the screen to, to investigate. Disconnect yeah. Why is yeah, that? Disconnect and reconnect. I don't know why that happens. He's doing it.
So I should send the flight plan again, right? No. I don't have to. What's your flight coach file, Joe? File for two hours. I hate when I have to exit that. Oh. That happens sometimes too. When I exit that screen. It's weird if I do it from the outside view, no problem. Let me go back in. I just gotta move that back to position. Hey, that's McGuire. Uh, not McGuire. That's, uh, yeah, that's McGuire Air Force Base. It is. Yep. Oops, sorry. Yep, that is um, McGuire. Uh, we're going into the flight level, so I'm going to put the altimeter to standard, 299 or 2. We're above 180. Yep, I have That happened to me. I got booted from the voice server the other night. Well, I don't know what causes that. I, I've had it happen a few times when I'm on a voice server and if I haven't keyed up in a while. Yeah. I feel like that's when it happens. So. But I do those flights, you know, out over the ocean, going down to the islands and stuff, three hours, four hours, and, it does, and I'm not transmitting at all. If you have your radio, your comp to off. And your comp one on one two two point eight, I don't think it happens. I've had I've done plenty of flights like that, and it's been no problem. And then I fly with comp two tuned to one two three four five air to air channel, and midway through the flight, it'll boot me off the voice server. Yeah, it's weird. So I think it might have something to do with when you're on a voice server for too long, it might kick you off or something. I'm sure New York will be on for a return leg, um, so. but we're approaching JFK. Actually, what's the frequency yeah, for JFK? We're still good, it's 51 miles. Yeah, but oh, I wanted to put it in the nav too, so I have a distance. I'll put it in the nav one right now. That's fine. If this is the correct frequency, which I believe it is, yes it yep. is. 52 and a half, all right, perfect. So at 52 and a half miles, we'll give Boston a call. And, you know, remember the call sign is always right there if you ever blink and you have to, like, think about yeah. it. Yeah, I'm going to blink the first call. Yeah. That's that's the hardest thing to do when you jump around in planes, is, or if you jump around in call signs. I do that all the time. I'll fly the, uh, my citation and I'll call myself American. <laughs> what? Wait, no, I'm not American. I'm citation. Yeah. What was it? Just the other day, I, I flew a plane that's not my normal repertoire, and uh, I kept wanting to say 66 Lee Maxway, because that's my most used call sign. What did you use instead? Um, I was flying as a uh, Flexjet, Flexjet 482. Gotcha. My call sign is always, whatever the airline is, 482. Looks like Manchester to Class Charlie Airport. I did not know that. Yeah. Except for 66 Lee Maxway, except for my private registrations. Pull up uh, 6 Lee Maxway. on the that scope. Did our reconnection not work well? I'm going to go check. UAL stuck mic. I'm just going to disconnect for a moment and reconnect. I don't know. Some Sometimes you have issues. I don't know why tonight we're having an issue. I got it for right there. Oh, I forgot. I always have to go to the outside view. Let's do the top-down view. 
exit the screen it's like yeah. my most upsetting thing because I've got it to a point where I almost don't need the mouse at all yeah. and I can, don't have to change the screen except for when I have an issue with my connection
great experiences. Fly roll up the Hudson. That's okay. Have a nice thing about. Sometimes it's hard to talk with the radio chatter. Um, the thing about the sim is, you know, virtual fuel costs nothing, so I go for speed and not efficiency, right? Because in the real world, principles are exactly reversed. You go for efficiency, not speed. Direct something, but he got stepped on. Can you correct? Uh, I'm sorry. Can you say that uh, fix for me one more time? Flies. Flies. All right. Uh, clear direct flies for for six six three max. Thank you. Why is it doing that? Won't let me activate it. There we go. Active. Alright, we are direct flies. Which actually was a big corner cut off our route. He was hard to hear. People were stepping on him. Is it loud enough for you? Yeah. Do you want it louder? What are the current winds? Tower 1, 2, 0. 7, good night. Providence Tower, good night, 254. Uh, let's uh, do the cruise checklist too. Cruise checklist is uh, fuel pumps. I'm sorry, fuel level. Fuel quantity. Yeah, we're good on that. Three to three thousand pounds. Fuel pumps off. Uh, altimeters standard. Two nine or nine or two. Engine instrument. I've been watching it. Yep, we'll uh, monitor the engines. And uh, seatbelt signs also required and on route weather. Yeah, hey, there's a guy climbing right below us over here. Yep. Back in three twenty nine. Are you able to we'll go out again zero. real quick? Roger. Two nine zero. Man. So I get hung up with one thing, you know, with this airplane I can look around, you know, like, three views, and in real life, you should not be able to look behind you, you know? Yeah. So I try not to use the, I never look behind me, I only do, you know, the 180 yeah. Yeah. in front of me. That's your situation right now, Manchester. Yeah, so the winds are favoring runway 24. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go all the way to the end and then taxi all the way around. Oh, no big deal. Sure about that? Maybe you have a 2-4. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, there's no way I'm catching that first taxiway. That's just too short of a, you know, it doesn't give me enough room to stop. Maybe that one. That's probably 3,000 feet. Not the actual chart. That's just some. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. The chart doesn't give you actual distances, though. No, it should. No, it doesn't. It should, though. That would be nice. There one second of the turn. Left heading 270. Left heading 270. One second of Such a handy little thing. Right? What's the ATIS frequency in Manchester? One one manner. We're probably too far away. How far are we total? 152 miles out. Seventy-six, ready to copy IFR clearance. I'm sorry, was that? Yeah, over nine five five. 
a little better, a little more direct. I mean, I hit not enough. No, he didn't cross. I'll let you know. So just, I'm going to turn that off, that way I know we're, we're not GPS mode, but we're flying on heading mode. Three, four, go to Atlanta, Virginia, nine kilo. See, that's the thing, I'm right in between. I want to know exactly what the good north position is. Number six, six, Lima, actuate descent via the Rosby to arrival, runway two, four, the Manchester out similar, two, nine, or eight, five. Rosby to arrival, runway two, four, for six, six, Lima, actuate. see a GPS or an RNAV. There is an ILS. Uh, not in the sim, it's not. It's outdated. Okay, you're 1976. Huh? There is not either here. Oh, okay. okay. What did he say to us? He just said runway 24. Yeah, it's probably be a visual approach. Um, I am at A1. For the RNAV, let's look at it. 
Boston. I've just programmed Perfect. vectors. I show you, it's just united. I don't have any numbers for you. I'm trying to keep a... Uh, See it there. That's just a guess. It might be pewter poetry. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. Oh, we have eight minutes to fly. No, it's, it's going to be poetry. Uh, checking that now. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can get you all right good no, good catch all right um so we should be getting down to 13. uh about another oh 73 miles yeah, yeah. we should yeah well, i'm just going to go down at 1800 feet a minute not, i would pull the speed back too okay, one second um no, speed's okay for now uh, we're not going to pick up that much speed in the descent Help with the ramp, we're kilo, thanks. Left center 660, max rate, vacating, by level 270. Roger. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, fix my FMC here. I have a problem with getting vectors for flies for a moment. Sure, Mega 329, turn left heading 030, and advise when to direct flies. Okay, zero, 030, zero, no, I'll buy you. Yeah, 5 is the end of that purple line? No, it's the beginning. I got you, yeah. I didn't want the extra mile distance to the next waypoint. I got you. So that way it displays our true distance to flies. And then I'll put it back on GPS mode to track the rest of the way. Yeah, the clouds look good. Yeah. Different layers. No, it's nice. It's nice to have a bit more updated weather. Your we're weather updated, but they were, it was often flawed. Uh, no. That's we're because like the like real world weather has been uh, not supported, supported yet. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that'll be the next controller. Roger, sir. Actually, I just want to confirm that you did clear us for the arrival for runway 24, the entire arrival. Thank you. Center American, uh, 320, we're direct flies. Where you guys? 320, That's the guy that's behind us. Boston, stand down here. 336, with you are heading. 336, climbing through 900 to 3000. Okay, 336, Boston, center right on contact to right heading. Climb and maintain 6,000. Here, 336. What information was it? Boston Sand, this is American 2160. We are climbing to yep. 12,000, going for 17,000, and we're inbound Maritime. And I have the, uh, wait. Yeah, I'm going to check the status again. Make sure there's no change. And I have the, uh, the weather. No change. Send me to Robo Free Arrival, Lioness 27, Argo 
Good night. I don't know which one's going to be. There's South Approach or regular approach. I hope that was. South Approach or, or, or regular approach. I'm guessing that's clear. 5-5, we have a partial there. 8-5-5, 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 we have a partial there. 8
Really, you should have altimeter setting. Oh, the knob to manually change it is this one right here. You know, or I have the cheat button that you just press yeah. it and just does the local. What I've always done is I always set it to whatever they give me at the arrival airport. Right. All right, so uh, primary navigation set, glide slope review, decision height review, Mr. Pershing's review, this video be a climbing right turn direct to the Concord VOR. Uh, final approach chart V, check it out. Out of below 10,000, landing lights on, we're on 1 3,000, we can continue descending down to 8 now, and we're cleared to, actually we're cleared out of 5, but we want to cross the Newcomb intersection at 8,000, so we're direct, oh boy, we better start descending. Ah. Yeah, Newcomb's in a few miles. Yeah, we got to really descend here. And uh, maybe we'll slow down for 250 knots. I'm slowing it. Yep. Um, well, we're still above 10. Yeah, we uh, we got a little behind the airplane here, didn't we? Yep. A little bit. Uh, and, Justin, uh, next. Logo lights. On. All right. Let's continue on that at 5,000 if that's the case. Yeah, just keep it going down. We can descend faster, too. Uh, all right, Mr. Uh, approach. Marker beacon is on. Starter switches set to continuous threat. Continuous ignition. Set. Fuel pumps. Fuel pumps are on. Landing lights are on. Landing lights are on. Uh, Altimeter set and flaps is required. Uh, approach checklist is complete. Next is landing. Uh, we are going direct Justin. Justin at 5,210 knots. 210? Yeah. All right. I have to step on the brakes a little bit here. And yeah, we got traffic at about our 1 o'clock. Uh, probably about 10 miles or so. Yeah, there's quite a few airplanes out here. Yeah, there are. What's that? Once we pass Justin, we set that heading. It's a vector heading. Okay. Is that what he said? I didn't catch that. No, but after the uh, Justin intersection. Oh, I got you. Zero five seven. I keep wanting to zoom in, but then I won't be able to see what we're doing. We're leveling your five. I got a feeling that when we get there, so yeah, you know. we're supposed to be Justin at five. Uh, I'm supposed to be at Justin at five and two ten knots. All right. We have to slow down. A we're, we're getting there. Yeah. Speed's coming off. I believe that is Manchester off to our right right here. Yeah, it is. Two yep. arrivals right there. That's what those are. Yep, I see them. And uh, you said there was a guy over here somewhere. See anybody out there? No. What happened to that guy? There he is. I see him. The clouds. Oh, yeah. Just popping out over there. Oh, we're below 210. Flaps 10. Flaps. Flaps in transit. Flaps 10. Thank you. 
BSK, do you know what airline that is? Zero three, this guy is? Nah, BSK, you got me on that one. Yeah, no idea. Must be something. I haven't heard any radio transmissions. And approach, just want to confirm 660 Max, are you still on frequency? Hello. Cool. Oh. I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, Eight. all the aircraft are on the other frequency. What did you say? All the aircraft are on the other frequency. Uh, Number 6, they max contact Boston, approach 127.35. That scope, that's a new one for me too. I'm gonna use that all the time now. Yeah, tower is one two one point three. And it's great if you if you can't look at V at uh, V pilot, then you can always look at that to get your frequencies. Well, I'm usually listening uh, to what they're giving the aircraft ahead of me. Yeah. So that's how I usually know what the frequency is going to be. Yeah. It's just by listening to the other plane's assignments. Hey, it's a cap flight. Slow though. Yeah, he's probably in the uh, Navajo or something like that. Feet. Here's this other aircraft. Traffic 3 to 4 o'clock, 5 
That's him getting a uh, resolution. That's him getting uh, a uh, they call it a deal on the ATC side. Yeah. Speed checks. Gear down. Follow that traffic. Uh, clear to runway 24 approach. Clear 336. 1800 feet. Fast approach, 1 second up. 1 second up, good. And 1 second up to 1 and up, I should do the RNAV or uh, I might get back to final. Uh, 1 second up, that's your VFR. Alright, roger that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do an RNAV if that's possible. That went to the level speed, practice our approach. Yes. Yeah, we'll stick the VFR one to the level. Gotcha. Approach 4-5 whiskey, call 4,000 direct manager. Do that 3-green. Four 4-5 whiskey, call 4,000 direct manager. Manchester, Alpha, Channel, Eastern, 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 Eastern,
four at Juliet from EFR close traffic. I knew I wasn't going to make that. Three zero, Manchester Tower, continue holding short for traffic landing. Hold short, three mics here. All right, looks like we're going to the end of the runway. Yep, keep the speed up. We do have traffic behind us, I believe. They've got to understand that. I mean, they've got a long distance between Zulu and Mike. Yeah. There's an exit right before the end up here. No, maybe not. Uh, Mike's no, it's just the there. end. Oh, no, it goes all the way around. It loops. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, well, we're not doing that. Right. All right, ground control is 135. No, that's uh, 121.9 here. Six Lee Maxway, welcome to Manchester, kind of ground 121.9 for Alright, ground 0.9 for uh, Westwood Six Lee Maxway, thanks very much and have a great evening. Yeah, okay, 3.30. Manchester ground, good evening, uh, Westwood Six Six Lee Maxway, just cleared 2.4 on Mike, looking for uh, signature aviation. Number 66 Lee Maxway, Manchester ground, hello, taxi to uh, signature via Mike Echo, hotel cross runway 35 on Echo. Mike, Echo, Hotel, Crawford with 3-5 on Echo for uh, Westwood 6, Lee Max, right, thank you. Okay. Alright, so you're on Mike right now, so you know. They're going to kind of bear right up here where the airliner is. you got to go around the terminal building, which is... Okay, Mike. Okay, after landing checks. Alright, after landing checklist, spoilers. Spoilers are retracted. Take care. Flaps are time. retracted. Landing lights. They're off. Strobes. They're off. Marker beacon. Marker beacon's off. Fuel pumps. Fuel pumps off. De-ice. Off. Pedo heat. Off. Starter switches are off. APU. So, on. That stay on? Uh, yes, that's the middle one stays on. Ah, that one stays on. Okay. Yeah, you'll see here. Alright, yeah, APU's coming, coming up. up. All right, uh, after landing checklist complete, next is uh, shut down when we uh, get to the terminal. Uh, Mike to Echo. Mike, Echo Hotel, cross runway 35 on, I guess that's Echo. Where's Hotel? Hotel, uh, the vertical is the one that runs parallel to 35. Oh, on the other side? Yeah, on the other so side. So I have to turn up here. Yeah, turn left here. Correct, yeah, follow this left line. Our flight time was uh, just about, I would say, probably 57 minutes or so. Yeah. Manchester ground, 7730, with you again, with some text to the active. There's a BBJ. Number 67300, yeah. Manchester ground, runway 24. I'm a little sus in the grass. Taxi via, are you parked at the uh, terminal? Am I, are we cleared to cross or hold short? We're cleared to cross runway 35 on Echo. Number 67300, Roger, on my screen, it just looks like you're parked at the grass. Runway 24, taxi via Delta Alpha Bravo Hotel Juliet, cross runway 35 down. on Bravo. Me? No, uh, that oh. uh, controller, he's just taxi rattling off letters. Taxi runway 24 via Delta Alpha Bravo Hotel and Juliet, cross runway 35 at Bravo 67300. Alright, signature, once you make a left on the hotel, November maybe about 100 one, two, yards seven, or so, turn to the right over there where that other jet is, over there. Alright, we're going to look one, left seven, and we're going to look right. Papa, Manchester, Ground, okay, hello, okay. where are you parked? You parked in the terminal or uh, down at the south cargo ramp? I'm down here at gate G as in George. Number yeah. 2 Sierra Papa, Roger, runway 24, taxi via Delta Alpha Bravo, Hotel Juliet, cross runway 35 on Bravo. Uh, repeat that again for me, please. Delta Alpha. Delta Juliet. Alpha Bravo, Hotel Juliet, cross runway 35 on Bravo. Delta Alpha Bravo, Hotel Juliet. Runway, this is signature, this building. Bravo. I would assume that's probably the building. That looks like it may be the car. Well, we're, we're coming up on hotel, uh, on, uh, yeah, on hotel. Delta. Delta. Passing for yeah, the now, pulling now. Pulling now. Pulling now. Okay. Looks like it's in elevation. That's why we appear here. I'm going to put Squawk standby. Right, cool. 
We'll just park in this spot right here. That's fine. Right? What do you think? That sounds good to me. All right, we'll bring her to a stop. Look, there's the beacon out there on the hill. Yeah, I see it. That's not good. Beacon to ground. Good afternoon. Beacon to Delta. Delta. All right, parking brakes set. Taxi lights. Beacon 1. Delta. 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 One and two. And one second up. We're going to taxi a signature. Off. We're on alpha. Clock. Clock is stopped. All right. Total time is one hour and two minutes. Yeah. Cabin yeah. alerts are off. Transponder read run standby. Final, uh, we're not going to do the final shutdown since we're going to be coming back out of uh, Manchester. Yep. You're going to captain the return leg. Yep. Well, that was a well done flight. That was a very good flight. Thanks. Thanks for coming along. Hope you like and subscribe. And until next time, happy landings.